With the nuclear physicist as a father, you realize at a really young age that they don't make mistakes. If they do make mistakes, they're huge mistakes. And so you do everything possible to avoid mistakes. When I finally got to Disney, I realized mistakes were not the boogeyman I thought they were. And in a way, you learn to congratulate yourself when you know you're in that <laughs> scary land where you just don't have all the answers because you haven't, you haven't gone that route before. I was at Disney for 18 years. I started out as an artist, as an animator, and finally a producer. I think I started going to a lot of meetings, and I thought, I want to get back to being an artist again. Between 12 and 18, I make 30 guitars, but never really thought of it as I would ever make a living at that. It was just a really interesting, fun thing to do. I started finding all these amazing players and they started liking what I was doing. And before I knew it, um, I, I was really, really in business. But it nobody can do that for this bass. And so for me to hear my instrument sound the way it can sound with a fantastic professional bassist is just incredible. It's like you just carved the, the, the bat that Babe Ruth hit the home run with. I mean, that's the way it feels to me. With these guitars, I think, well, I could make twice as many guitars in a year if I would hire more people. Would I be happier? You get to a point where you go, you know what? There's a reason why a singular artistic vision has a value to it. 